zadnjoj pres konferenciji zatražili se da vam se o posljednjim događanjima u klubu vrati izvršni direktor gospodin Michael Remo Glover. On se jučer vrati iz Amerike i evo ga danas kako smo i obećali pred vama sprema odgovarati na sva vaša pitanja. Prima tome, evo još jedan put zahvaljujem na velikom odazivu. Interes je očito, vjerujem, velik. Vjerujem da imate i puno pitanja. Pa da ne gubimo vrijeme, odmah bi za početak još jednom pozdravio gospodina Glovera i naravno pozdravio bi i gospodina Darka Podmera, jel tako, koji će evo biti tu nazočan kao prevodjetelj. Dogovorili smo se da se nema nikakvog uvoda od strane gospodina Glovera, nego s obzirom da je veliki interes od vaše strane, odmah krećemo sa vašim pitanjima. Po dogovoru dajem riječ kolege Branko Biješiću sa Hrvatske televizije. Gospodine Glover, kad ste došli, najavili ste da će se klub stabilizirati i da će se bori za Evropu. Preuzdačno se klub bori za opstanak, a izgledno je da možda mi neće opstati u prvoj ligi, manje je publike, negativno je ozračje. Ko je po vama kriv? Da li se vi osjećate osobno odgovorni za ovu situaciju? Ako ne, koga smatrate odgovorni? So, when you arrived to Pula, you uh, announced that the club will be stabilized and will qualify for the European competitions. Uh, and at the moment it's fighting not to be relegated. Uh, the attendance uh, is lower than last year. Uh, the results are not as good as it was announced and do you feel personally responsible uh, for such change uh, status of the club? Well, first of all, good morning. Thank you all for coming. <coughs> there, there are a number of questions that you ask, so I'll try to remember each one of them. Dobro jutro svima. S obzirom da ste postavili nekoliko pitanja, on će odgovoriti na pojedine pitanja redno kako ste ih postavili. The first question had to do with the, the desire or the aspirations for the club when we took it over. Uh, prvi dio se odnosi na želje i ciljeve uh, koje su imali kada su preuzeli klub. And uh, your, your question was whether my um, promise, my commitment to playing in the Europa League, finishing in the top four, is something that I feel personally responsible for, for not having achieved. Znači, uh, na vaše pitanje uh, da li osjeća uh, odgovornost za to da se klub nije politicirao u evropske natjecanja i zauzao jedno od prva četiri mjesta koja bi vodila u Evropu, uh, you feel personally responsible? The question is, do I feel uh, Pitanje je da li se uh, osjećam osobno odgovornim uh, da se klub nije politicirao. And the answer to that question is, I do feel personally responsible. I odgovor na to pitanje je da se osjeća osobno odgovornim za rezultate. Uh, when I when when I and my group of partners bought the club, uh, it was our intent and our desire to finish in the top four. Uh, we very much underestimated what it was going to take to do that. Uh, I uveliko smo podcijenili što će sve biti potrebno da bi se takav rezultat ostvario. I don't know that the, the error was so much in the quality of players or the quality of the team. Uh, I ne može se reći da je sve bilo povezano sa time kakva je kvaliteta pojedinih igrača i kvaliteta momčadi. But we certainly did miscalculate um, the amount of energy devoted to making sure that the club was not going to be successful. Te nismo planirali koja koja količina energije će biti potrebna da se učini da klub nije uspješan. So the the level of negativity from the first day we arrived was surprising and shocking. I količina negativne energije s kojom se suočili od prvog dana dolaska je jednostavno bio šokantan. And the fact that it's been able to sustain itself whether we win or lose is also surprising. Također iznenađujuće da bez obzira da li klub pobjeđivao ili je gubio utakmice, takva atmosfera je nastavila biti takva i jednostavno iznenađujuće da se ništa nije mijenjalo po tekstu. But the, the part of it that I can control, which is the, the quality of the performance on the field. 
što se tiče onog dijela koji on može kontrolirati, a to je kvaliteta izvedbe momčadi na terenu. That I do have to accept responsibility for. Za taj dio mora preuzeti odgovornost. And that sort of ties into your second question about uh, attendance at the matches. I taj uh, dio se direktno nadovezuje na vaše drugo pitanje koje se odnosi na posjećenost na stadionu. I think there has been a, a lot of uh, negative energy and, and uh, publicity. I bilo je jako puno loše publiciteta uh, i objava. That has certainly impacted the, uh, the desire of people to attend the matches. I to je svakako utjecalo na želju ljudi da dolaze na stadion. And that level of uh, a gratuitous negativity, negativity without any basis, in fact, just driven out of a desire to be negative. Uh, jednostavna takva negativnost uh, bez osnove jednostavno tjerala tu negativnost da ostane na površini. Is, is something that is unfamiliar to me in my experience in business. I to je nešto što njemu nepoznato kao dio poslovanja. <clears throat> But the negativity that comes from not being able to provide a quality product on the field that is entertaining. Ali onaj dio negativnosti koji se odnosi na to da jednostavno izvedba na terenu nije zadovoljavajuća. That is a responsibility that I have to accept. Za taj dio razloga i dijela koji utječe na taj dio negativnosti on prihvaća odgovornost. Fans have the, the complete uh, discretion about how they want to spend their money and, and who they want to support. And there are some fans who will spend their money and support the team because the team needs their support. And because they they feel that the team is part of, of who they are and part of their community. And then there are fans who will only pay to come watch if they are being entertained at a, at a level that makes it worth their while. Dok s druge strane ima i navijača koji će doći na stadion samo ako je izvedba momčati takva da će oni biti zadovoljni onim što gledaju na terenu. We haven't done a very good job lately of entertaining our fans. U zadnje vrijeme svakako momčati nije pružila takvu razinu igara koja bi zadovoljavala upustavu tih dijela navijača. So I understand when people don't want to spend their hard-earned money to come watch a product that is not entertaining or pleasant to watch. I stoga razumije taj dio navijača koji jednostavno ne žele potrošiti teško stečeni novac na gledanje momčadi koji neće zadovoljavati njihovu uslu. And I, I hope I answered all your questions. If not, please uh, remind me which one I missed. Uh, ako bi propustio neki dio uh, pitanja i nije dao odgovor na njega, slobodno uh, recite koji dio. Thank you very much. Zdravljajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajaj
ne postoje ljudi, ne postoje niko koji je vama sluhao to što ste vi odgovarali i način na koji ste komunicirali s ovom gradom, s ovom publikom i s ovim ljudima. Gospodin Govor bio bi najčasnije da li poprodate taj klub, da se pokupite, pustite nekako na nogome tvovi i prestanite maltretirati ljude, igrače, personal, potjerali ste Silvano Rožanković, potjerali ste Brokija, potjerali ste jedinog čovjeka koji je ostvario rezultat, to je Ivo Pamić i možda biti sram kako vodite klub i na koji način ste ovdje prišli. Meni vaš novac ne znači ništa. Imate li ga, nemate ga, jebeli ste. Evo, zlomirio sam se jebiga i sad da sam puštam bi zdravlja, želim prvo se zdravlja. So we will basically just get a statement that these are the things that we have. Give us a mail, give us a word, this is only one thing. This is only one part of what he has done in the city, 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 in the city. Thank you very much. Mr. Dresnić. According to the results of the results, how much time has been to wait for the new strategy that we have changed? Due to the catastrophic results of the team, how much sense there is of waiting for the season to end, uh, deciding the new coach and the team? <clears throat> well, first of all, there's, there's no sense about waiting for the season to end. No, nobody in the organization is just waiting for the days to go by. Prije svega nema nikakvog smisla bilo što reći da se čeka da se sezona privede kraju, budući da nitko unutar organizacije ne čeka da sezona završi da bi se donjela neka odluka. There is a significant amount of work to do every single day in order to prepare ourselves to be as successful and competitive as we can every day. I svaki dan treba baviti jako puno posla da bi momča bila pripremljena za ono što joj očekuje svaki dan. No, to su, idem okolo u glavu. Hoće li smjeriti Panadić ili neće? So, do you intend to terminate Panadić ili neće? Well, let me, let me be as clear and unambiguous as I possibly can be. Andre will absolutely be the coach next season, period. Znači, onoliko koliko može biti jasan i bez igrake zadrške, Andrej Panadić će biti trener i iduće sezone. Zahvaljujem, kolega Cervat. Šta će biti ako klub ispadne? Da li to dijelomično ili potpuno mijenja vaše planove kao trenutačno vlastnik? So what will happen if the team gets relegated? Does that change anything uh, in your plans as the owner of the club? Well, it, it will certainly change a lot about the way we approach the next season, but if the team gets relegated, then we, we do the very best we can in the circumstances that we have to continue to build. U slučaju da klub ispadne u drugu ligu, to će u svakom slučaju mijenjati način na koji će se pristupiti idućoj sezoni i svakako će zahtjevati promjenu pristupa kako će se graditi momčat za idućoj sezoni. Ali ostaću u klubu. You will stay at the club. I will stay at the club. Ostaje u klubu. A mogu samo nadvezati. Kako na njega djeluju prozivanje, ne samo recimo prozivanje od strane medija, nego prozivanje iz tribina, zahtjevi navijača za odlaskom iz kluba? So, how are you affected uh, not only by the uh, reactions of the media, but also from the cheering of the fans uh, demanding uh, resignations? Well, again, it's a, it's a, a sport of passion. Um, and so you have to have a certain level of uh, tolerance and appreciation for the passion of the fans. Svakako se radi o nogometu u kojem postoji puno strasti i da mora se poštovati strast kojim navijači podržavaju momčad i zahtjeve koje postavljaju. And I would say with the exception of Regional Express. I uz iznimku Regional Expressa. I think the rest of the media has treated us very fairly. Ostali dio medija je klub tirao na pravilan način. And sometimes that uh, that results in in criticism i to ponekad uh, zahtjeva kritiku and sometimes it results in praise a nekad uh, rezultira pohvalom and sometimes the fans have been incredibly supportive i nekad su navijači bili kao v, davali su vrlo veliku podršku and sometimes very negative a nekad su bili negativni uh, and i think that is to be expected given the fact that it is um, a sport that matters. 
I to je nešto što se očekiva od sporta koji ljudima nešto znači. And that it matters to the fans. I to što znači navijačima. And that we haven't, of late, we haven't been able to get the kinds of results that would that would lead fans to cheer. I svakako je povezano s time da momčet nije u stanju pogediti što bi potaknuo navijače da navije. Let me just add one thing though. I would really hope that in the last home game that we have coming up, that the fans appreciate that the team needs them and needs their support. I da navijači shvaćaju da će ih momčet trebat i trebat njihovu podršku. It's like if you saw a friend in a really difficult situation, you would have the choice, I suppose, to turn your back on that friend or to extend a helping hand to get them through that difficult time. I to je kao da vidite prijatelja u teške situacije, imate dvije solucije, ili da ćete okrenuti leđe ili ćete mu pružiti ruku podrške. Yeah, I hope we can count on the fans. Uh, that really care about the club to come out and support it and to try to lift the spirits of the players instead of destroy the spirit. I nada se da onaj dio navijača koji podržava stvarno ekipu da će doći na stadion i pomoć igračima da pruže bolje izgled na teren. Stefan. Stefan, ako može pokuža objasniti pokuža da će da on se nosi bio oko izgleda, ako može so when it comes to your part of responsibility for the competitiveness of the team at the field, do you believe that the players don't have enough quality to compete or are they not prepared in the right way? I think that the players have both quality and are prepared. Uh, Smatram da, su igra, da igrači imaju i dovoljnu razinu kvalitete i da su uh, dovoljno dobro pripremljeni. But I think the psychological aspects of, of pressure and expectation a je uh, psihološki dio očekivanja uh, i pritiska kojem su uh, uh, podloženi can, can weigh heavily on a, on a player or a team. Može teško past uh, i pojedinim igračima i momće dio cijelina. Do you have a sports psychologist? Well, one of the owners of the club is a sports psychologist. We do spend some time trying to... We spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to motivate and reposition the players to be competitive. Having said that, it's a it's a very difficult situation and very difficult environment and a very difficult culture, uh, club culture that the players are coming out of. And when I when I say that, I'm I'm talking about from the beginning of the season till now, three different coaches, three very different and distinct styles of play. Um, the the damage that was done at the beginning of the season, compounded by what was done in the middle of the season, carries over to the end of the season. So I don't want to minimize your question in any way, but I, I just want to emphasize that it is a complex mix that gets you to the point we're in right now. Zašto nije uložio novac u kvalitetnije igrače i iskusnijih trenera da to stvari? Prošli su uglavnom igrače koji su, ne znam, anonimni, nedovoljno iskusni, koji traže svoje afirmacije ovdje. Zašto nije dovoljno nekoliko kvalitetnih igrača i kvalitetnijih iskusnijih trenera da ostvari to zbog čega je došlo? Sjedinjstvo je na početku sezonu sviđa 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 finish at the uh, top four places and compete with the European competitions. Uh, why exactly did you invest more money in players with more quality and uh, coaches with more experience which would allow you to reach that goal? Well, let me first address the question of the coach with the experience. I think we had a coach who had experience. Znači, prvo da se svrde na onaj dio pitanja o trenerima s iskustvom, smatra da je u početku bio trener koji ima iskustvo. It ultimately came down to whether that coach 
was able to, to do the job in the way we expected the job to be done. A na kraju se svelo da uh, pitanje tog trenera uh, na pitanje da li on može obavljati, obavljati posao na onaj način koji se očekiva od njega. But it's, it wasn't a matter of, uh, of not investing in a coach. We had a, an enormous investment in that coach, financially and otherwise. I što se tiče investicije u trenera, uh, s tim trenerom je bila povezana poprilično velika investicija. Just, just to clarify something in case there is any confusion about it in this room, when I bought the club, the obligation to that coach was about 215,000 euro a year. Znači, ako u ovoj sobi postoji nekakvih činjenica koje su nepoznati nekim ljudima, znači financijski izdatak za tog trenera kada je klub kupljen je bio 215.000 euro na godišnjem basu. And that was for a club that was four or five months behind in payments to everybody else. I u tom trenutku je klub uz takvu financijsku obvezu bio četiri ili pet mjeseci za krišenje sa plaćanjem ostalom dijelu zajednice. With respect to the quality 